Yeah. Thank you guys, Steven. Watch out for the ceiling, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, as you guys know, we're just keeping here for the vibes. Um, I know she's never been to prison, but she's got a little funny character, so I'm the keeper. So yeah, we're gonna go for round four. Um, let's find the ex, uh, God willing, reform convict. Do you guys make any friends in prison? Any friends in prison? No, uh, I mean, cellmate was, you get along with them, but you don't, you don't, you're not friends. He is 100% the convict. I could see it in his eyes. I'll be honest, he could be a guanin actor though. Yeah. He could be a guanin no, actor. Then he will be a nuts actor. I'll be honest, he deserved the piece. Yeah. Like did, did you go straight to jail? Or did you like have a court case or anything like that? Cold. Unfortunately, they caught me on the day. I had a fake registration, I got a fake uh, drive license. Uh, but I didn't work out. I'm so happy you got caught. You weren't good enough for your job, that's why you got caught. No, because the, it was the beginning of the digital era. You know, back in the days, uh, police only got a phone. They have to phone to see if it was registered. That's what's digital. When Tony started to say that um, when he used to steal cars, the digital era back then was, wasn't great, it started to make sense that all that knowledge was because he may be the ex-convict. So you said you've been doing crimes for 20 years, you got caught at 26. So 26 minus 20. What was the chance? You're a master, what is it? Was six. What is it? Six. So you were six years old when you started. <laughs> Scarface, you got your flop, man. Al Pacino, you didn't, you, know, you didn't do your maths, you know what I mean? So you, you're obviously not great at maths because you were starting doing mad things from six years old. I, I, I understand that. What are you talking about, bro? Yeah, what are you talking about? You don't even know to do the basic mathematics. Just told you. The first time they caught me, I was 26. So after you came out, did you stop, did you stop, did you stop crime, committing crime when you came out? No, I haven't stopped committing crime. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you're telling me, <laughs> you're he was on camera, you're on yourself. I have a question for Captain Carroll. Apart from this day squad filming, what other acting classes on streets have you been to? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. You've been on Emmerdale, haven't you? Emmerdale? Yeah. You've been on there. I think I recognise you. You're on... such a flirt. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, would you, would, you go for, would you go for him? Oh, I've, I'd eat you alive. Oh. Oh. I'd eat you too. Oh, stop it! <laughs> chill out, yo, yo, chill out. <laughs> Let's get back on topic, Carol. I'm not interested in you. You're now cheating on me with my friends, so I'm not interested in you anymore. I want to get you out of this video. But what do you reckon? Do you, do you change your mind or are we still on, on this joke, man? I think you all have qualities that are very attractive. Yeah, you have good qualities as well. You're a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think I should be an actress? Yeah, you should be an actress. Oh. And I'm going to find out after this. So I'm voting for you, Captain Carroll. Uh, I'll be honest, yeah, you're good vibes, so you're staying in the ground. That's enough vibes, yo. Go, 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 go. I do like you, Carol. I, I have to vote for you. I'm sorry. Okay. You're not a criminal. It's a shame. It's a shame. No, it's actually a good thing you're not a criminal. Yeah. Carol, I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm gonna look for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, Carol, if there's a party, I'll shout at you. But this is not a party. We need to find a criminal. So I'm voting you out. This makes me very sad. Carol, remember I didn't vote for you, yeah? No, I'll shout at you after that. I didn't vote for you. So what I need you to do is slide through. No, I can't. Bring the dice pan next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Carol, it's been nice. It's been lovely. Oh, it's been nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carol. Oh, thank you, Carol, before you, quick, before you go, can you just pop your number in here? <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Live on <laughs> Beta Squad Vids. <laughs> yeah, cold. Thank you very much. Yo, make sure you put the dust oh. link in. 999. Nine, nine. <laughs> she saw a black man and wrote 999. Nine, nine. <laughs> what happened? I didn't get rejected. Um, we just found out that Carol's racist. Yeah, we just found out. It's crazy. Um, so I asked her for a number. She must have not got the message. Saw a black man and wrote 999. <laughs> oh, man. All right, cool. It's the final round. Time to find this convict. One question. Um, what did you do on your first day out? First day out, I went to eat a good meal. And then what did you do on your first day out? Never. I went back to my mum's place and tried not to look at her. Why not? Well, I'd just come out of prison and felt like a dick. He went home, avoided his mum after he got out of prison. That doesn't make any sense. Surely you just got out of your prison, you'd want to spend time with your mum. You know, obviously your mum won't be proud of you, but it's bonding time to bond again. Why are you, why are you avoiding your own mum? I think right here what we're seeing is you're clearly reformed. Uh, you feel awful for what you did. You are just completely making it up acting like you're still doing these crimes to this day, <laughs> yeah. admitting it on camera. Who would admit that he's got, yeah. he's got him? He says you're, he still commits crimes. I, I recall correctly, you came from my intelligence, but you admitted your crimes on camera. You're, you're here bragging. Camera? Yeah. What camera? 
Um, if you turn around there, like that, that's a camera. There, there's, there's, a, there. there's a camera there as well. And there's there's camera. Right what well, did you think we were just talking, having a conversation? I could see that it was Sam. The way he's talking about stuff, he's so remorseful of his actions. It's clear as day it's him. He's not a fraud like Tony. It's him. Uh, Robert, um, how did he start the fire? It was uh, a cigarette. I just. Oh, um, whoa. Yeah. Wait. Wait. No, no he's not there. Wait, oh, wow. wait, wait. What he done there? You know, that's when you're lying, you do, that's yeah, what you, you do, right? Oh, wait. Wait. I touch myself, I'm not. So wait, so uh, wait. Um, no, no man. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 so cigarette. <laughs> yeah, cigarette thrown in the bed. Thrown in the bed? On the bed. On the bed? So that was an accident then? I don't know. Um, no, it wasn't, well, I mean, I didn't deliberately, I didn't go in there to commit arson, but I... His whole character changed. Did, see me, yeah? I've been working in the FBI for ages. I clocked when he did the... See, he was trying to lie, man. Don't wipe your nose, man. That's the basics. Now, I was convinced it was Sam, but then that's the thing with animals. They have a sixth sense, and AJ clocked it. He saw it and made us all realize. It's clearly not Sam, but we brought him to the end, which means we got it wrong. Thank you, AJ, I'll give you a treat after. Well done. Yeah. Now, I was trusting you the whole point until you did that. Just because of pure science, you are not an ex-convict. Cool, Kenny, who you wrote out, bro? Donnie Montana. Yeah. yeah. Who you wrote out? You are gone. Okay, Sharky, who you wrote out? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool, Sharky? Tony. Yeah, Tony, take care, my brother. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, man. Take Thank care. you, man. Alright, so don't I'll be honest. I didn't vote you out, remember, yeah? Don't remember, remember I, didn't, I didn't vote you. Um, yeah, don't worry. Oh, oh my oh, god. Wow. If you saw the signal he gave the camera, yeah, he basically he, said, I'm gonna deal with I'm all of you after. Just remember I didn't vote for you, yeah? So, um, the ex-convict, please step forward now. I knew oh, it! Oh my I knew it! God. No. I knew it, but that's science, bro! He touched! Why no. were you smiling all the time? Biological science! I always smile. Oh, it's me. No. At the end, I caught you. At the end, I caught you. Oh, you, you, can, you can sleep proud tonight. You, did, ah. a, you <laughs> did an incredible job. Right on, incredible the job. first man to win! Oh my gosh! Are you an actor? Yeah, well... Half of it is that I do uh, role play for the police, and this is one you. of the characters I play. Oh, no. <laughs> you, can't, you can't even blame us. They can't even blame us for that. And then wait, please, Tony. Are you Italian? Are you Italian? Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy B, what, what do you do then? I'm a counselor. Of course. Oh, of course. Of course. Come on. I'm a comedian and actress. Comedian. Oh. Comedian makes oh. sense. I'm not so what your name is? Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> What's the phone line? <laughs> Why not? I'm an actress <laughs> playing a role, darling. But then we have the winner. The man gone. Collect your no winnings. No one's done this yet. What's that? Come on. 500 pounds. So yes, we lost and Stephen then split the money with the rest of the fake convicts and yeah, we lost. We were defeated. I hate this game. 500 pounds gone. Can you tell us what you actually did now? Because it doesn't matter anymore. My name's Steve, Stephen Killen. I was once known as Britain's most dangerous prisoners. Of a, of a period of 23 plus years of organised crime, my last sentence was 17 years, of which I spent 11 years and uh, nine months as a Category A. I was released a Category A. I since come out, I transformed my life. I went on to become a globally successful entrepreneur. I'm the best-selling author of The Monkey Puzzle Tree, which is an international bestseller and is in pre-production to be a major film biopic on my life to be shot next year. Right, for the brother. I'm also a peace ambassador, and last year I was nominated for the Sunak International Peace Prize. Which is the most I I'm going to read your book as well. Yeah, I'm going to read your book as well. So we have lost. Absolutely devastated. But guys, comment down below who you think we should guess next. Like, subscribe. Peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I just wanted to say that we won't be uploading next Saturday. Because we're uploading on Friday, guys. See you on Christmas Day.